California's central coast stretches in between Los Angeles and San Francisco, a quieter, more pristine, and more overlooked section of the Golden State. After spending my birthday at home in busy Los Angeles, I decided to take a solo road trip to celebrate and explore Pismo Beach for the weekend. How does the central coast compare to SoCal? I discovered that it is way different in the best way. Welcome to SlowCal. Right, and I am starting my trip here on the Pismo Beach Pier. I am absolutely loving the vibes of the Central Coast so far. It is a chilly 59 degrees though, so what I'm most surprised about so far is how many people are out on the beach. In Los Angeles, if it reaches under 60 degrees, everyone is at home hiding. So this is pretty cool and I love that people are still outside even when it is cold out. A really nice view from the beach of the mountains. I love how green they are. Does it rain up here more? At the end of the pier right now, this is a pretty long pier. And we got awesome views of the city of Pismo Beach and even the surfers down below. Even though we're not in SoCal anymore, welcome to SlowCal. The waves are huge here today. Very unexpected. I didn't know the Central Coast had such great surfing. Don't tell Los Angeles I said that. Okay, something I already noticed about the Central Coast is that everyone here kind of looks like everyday people. It's not like LA where everyone looks like they walked out of a catalog with their six packs and breast implants. I'm only joking, but it is definitely kind of noticeable here and really refreshing. And I am walking south for about a mile to go to the Monarch Butterfly Garden, which is supposed to be a can't miss place here in Pismo Beach from October through February. And I'll show you why. Okay, I am in the Monarch Butterfly Garden, a really unique spot here in the city. It is where the monarch butterflies migrate west of the Rocky Mountains from October through February. So we are in the last days of seeing the monarchs here at the garden. Today, there are over 3,000 butterflies to be seen here. Just gotta watch where you walk so you don't step on a butterfly. So why do the monarch butterflies migrate to Pismo Beach State Park? Because they cannot survive the harsh winters of the Northeast. And honestly, same. Reporting live, two monarchs mating. I love that everyone here is observing and admiring the monarchs and being respectful of their temporary habitat. This place is totally free and definitely worth a stop when you're in Pismo Beach. Okay, and I'm spending golden hour at Dinosaur Caves Park, which is so much more than a playground and why I'm filming far away so I'm not that creeper. But this is an 11 acre oceanfront bluff top park with stunning views of the Pacific Ocean. I am really excited to check this one out, especially during this hour. Okay, and I'm trying to make my way down to this beach over here. It looks so beautiful.
Okay, and I am under a little gazebo. Isn't this the most perfect spot you've ever seen in your whole life? <laughs> Seats over here if you want to watch the sunset. Look at that view. I can't pick a spot to watch the sunset, but I really want to go down to the beach. I'm assuming they have weddings right over here. Well, if I ever get married, you know where to find me. Seriously, guys, I feel like I'm walking in heaven right now. Just a heads up though, there are signs literally everywhere that this could be dangerous. We got falling rocks in area, access at your own risk. Everything is wired up, so to protect the rocks from falling down, be careful. Whoa. Jesus. Some cool looking rocks. Good place to sit in this beautiful heavenly spot for the sunset. If you are a photographer, this is your dream spot. You got a cave over here right out of The Little Mermaid with the backdrop of the sunset, heaven. Good morning. My phone is telling me that it's 47 degrees outside right now, which I cannot believe. So I haven't stepped outside yet, but let me see. Oh, oh yeah, okay. 45 degrees. Got the full day ahead of me, hope it warms up. Also, what a coincidence that I'm in room 218, which is my birthday, and it's my birthday weekend. <laughs> My car, essentially, is frozen. Hey, and good morning from downtown Pismo Beach, a place where there's a lot of food and shopping, of course, right next to the beach. I am passing by a place called Old West Cinnamon Rolls, and it smells so good from across the street, and there is a pretty long line, so it must mean it is a great spot. I think vacation calls for an unhealthy breakfast, right? Okay, not as pretty looking as I would have liked, but looks good. <laughs> I gotta have dessert for breakfast more often. All right, and I am ending my trip here in Pismo Beach by doing something you can't miss when you're here because it's so unique to the city, driving on the beach. At the Oceana Dunes, you can buy a day pass and literally just cruise your car along the beach. I've never done this before, so I'm really excited. It is a long line, so I'm here on the earlier side um, because they do sell out. And there are two entrances here in Pismo Beach, the Pier in Oceano and West Grand near Finn's Restaurant in Grover Beach. And that's where I am right now to get my pass. Obviously very popular activity when you got a whole line of cars here. Okay, we're going on. 
my god, oh my god, oh my god. Ah. <laughs> Feels like my car is gonna sink into the sand. It's a weird feeling. One of the coolest experiences I've had in California. Now, this is what I call a morning cruise. <laughs> it even beats the PCH. Trying to dig myself out. Never thought I would need a shovel in California. Oh my god. Oh my god. As you can probably tell, Pismo Beach did not disappoint. From the engulfing waves at the pier, catching the last glimpse of the monarch butterflies, a heavenly sunset, a heavenly cinnamon bun, to driving on the sand along the Pacific, this trip proved that the best things in life are here on the Central Coast. If you like this video, hit that like button and subscribe for more California vlogs. I'll see you next time just a bit north from Pismo in Morro Bay.